reporting crimes to the police. We understand that this is not always an easy decision to make and you may have many questions about what happens when you report to the police. How do I report to the police? You can report in person on the telephone to 101 or most police services allow people to report crimes online via your local forces website. What happens when I report a crime? When a person reports a crime, the police must record it. They will usually give the victim a unique reference number for that crime. The offence will then be allocated to an investigating officer for them to make inquiries. What sort of questions will they ask me? The police will need to know what happened in as much detail as possible. When the offence took place, details of the offender, where it took place, if online what platform was used, and personal and contact details about you. Can the police investigate crimes outside the UK? Police in the UK can only investigate and submit cases to the Crown Prosecution Service, CPS, when the offence has been committed in the UK. That means the suspect must be in the UK and the offence took place in the UK for it to be in breach of UK law. What evidence do I need to take to the police? If possible, try to make a timeline of the offence and then make sure images, texts, website addresses, etc. are clearly shown on it. The police will need to take a written statement from you, but may ask for a video interview with you instead. Can the police delete images or videos from someone's phone? No, the police do not have any powers to require a suspect or anyone to delete information. They may well seize a device as evidence, but ultimately the courts are the only legal process that can compel someone to remove or destroy items. How long can you wait before reporting to the police? There is no time limit on making a report. However, the longer someone waits to make that report, the more potential there is for evidence to be lost. Am I guaranteed anonymity? Some offences have statutory protection for a victim. However, at this time, the disclosure of intimate images is not one of these, and therefore anonymity cannot be guaranteed. The Revenge Porn Helpline can support all victims of intimate image abuse. We can provide confidential and non-judgmental support. By calling 0345 6000459. By emailing help at revengepornhelpline.org.uk.